And welcome back. I'm Marquise Mita. I'm joined here with Zach at the Orlando Science Center. And as Astronomy Month continues, we're going to be learning about, well, motion. Yeah, so we have um, Isaac's Laws of Motion. Um, this is going to be really important for our balloon cars today. So we have our engine here. It's really simple, just a nice straw cut short, taped to a balloon. So when you blow it up and let the air out, it pushes out. So and it pushes out, right? So that air rushing outwards actually sends an equal and opposite reaction to push the motion forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape them to our balloon cars and we're gonna see which one goes further. When we're thinking about things in outer space, rocket ships don't really have to worry too much about weight after they get out of our atmosphere. But if we were, say, a lunar car on the surface of the moon, we also really don't have to worry about weight nearly as much, but we definitely don't have to worry about that aerodynamics because there's essentially no atmosphere on the moon. So so we have a light car and a more aerodynamic but heavy car. So we're going to find out which one would go further here on Earth um, and think about maybe how that would work if they were up on the moon as well. Maybe right now, take a bet. Think about which car yeah. is going to go faster or further. Only one way to find out, and that's uh, time to go race them. All right, let's, let's yeah, get let's it go. done. Let's walk on over. Yeah. All right, so we can go ahead and just start inflating, and then we'll set them down and see how far they can go. There we go. We'll set them down. One, two, three. Oh! Pretty even, but <laughs> it looks like that inertia, that mass, actually was able to take off and was able to accelerate and had that mass and that weight behind it. It was able to go much further and much faster. That's actually kind of cool because, like, contrary to what I thought originally, I was thinking yeah. it's heavier, it's going to be weighed down. But yeah. I think once you got the ball rolling, the wheels started turning, exactly. the friction force from the ground is going to be less effective on a bigger car, you know? It's going to take exactly. more to slow it down or decelerate better, yeah. Exactly, and then we have those that really light mass, so it's really easy that friction that is equal for the cars once they get going is going to affect that lighter mass much more effectively. So obviously we're learning new things here at the Orlando Science Center, and Astronomy Month is going to continue all month long here yep. throughout the month of July. But if people want to know more about racing cars or lunar equipment, where can they go for more information? Yeah, they want to go to our website, www.osc.org, and they're going to find a bunch of awesome information, like our balloon cars and so much more. Awesome. So great news there. Head to the website, or better yet, come check things out here at the Orlando Science Center in person.